digit. Oh, it looks like the SIM card is not working anymore. Okay, so now I have to, I have to set it up. Okay, let's see what this one looks like now. So it shows mobile, everything. It's one euro valid until November, okay. And I could transfer the eSIM from here. They always give you the option to transfer eSIM, but the best thing is to save the email, order the paper, scan the paper that you got with the original QR code. That's all you need. You don't need to do that from here, but it's always good to use the option to transfer the eSIM if you need to. Yeah, so I changed now the SIM card to an eSIM and I'll transfer it to my iPhone. I'll do this in a separate video just to make things more simple. This is how you change from a physical SIM card to an eSIM. And when you do the change, the physical SIM card is uh, disconnected. It's deactivated. The physical SIM card is deactivated and your SIM card is the email, basically. The email I received with the QR code and the activation details and instructions, that's the SIM card. So from that moment, you can remove the SIM card from the phone. There's no need to have it there. There's no need to have the SIM card on the phone anymore. So I could, I could actually remove it right now. So this one, it's not a cable net SIM card here and see it's closed there. Uh, this SIM card is not active anymore, but I wouldn't throw it away. I would keep it just to have proof that you have this SIM card, especially with the PUC code. I don't think this change. So the PIN code and the PUC code, PUK code to unlock if you try to enter the PIN code too many times wrong. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw these away. I would keep them and I will change, make a, I'll make the video soon about, I'll make the video soon about installing the eSIM to the iPhone and to the Android and changing from one to the other. Thanks for watching.